These are pictures of me passing out RAF Swinderby uh, with my uh, flight at Swinderby and at Royal Air Force Hereford doing my trade training. This is a letter from Clive Grunshaw that says when I was assaulted by the police and they tried to murder me, I didn't receive any injuries whatsoever. Here's the uh, raccoon eye and there's the nail marks on my throat, both sides. There's the bruises on my temple from the six elbow strikes to my temple. You can see the bruising again on the right hand side of as you look at my face and see my eye, my throat, my eye again, my wrists. And here's the uh, skin map of all the injuries that the NHS took to record all the wounds that the police had inflicted on me when they tried to murder me. And here's the original complaint form the day after it took place. And here's the independent witness statement that confirms that everything I said is true. The police in Lancashire are quite happy to ignore this. The professional standards say nothing that happened and that was out of the ordinary. I agreed to answer the questions for the assessment before they tried to murder me. Yeah. This other letter here, this one, is from Clarence House from Prince Charles. It's a beautiful letter, it says thank you very much for taking the time to write to me. Well, there's not a lot he can do really, because he's not allowed to get involved. But the police in Lancashire can try and murder ex-servicemen. The Home Office can set, set it up and arrange it, and there's nothing you can do. Eight years I've been fighting for justice. They're denying me justice, they're delaying justice. And basically, the Chief Constable got a nice little OBE for sorting out a problem for the Ministry of Defence and the Home Office. Lovely reward for trying to kill a veteran, Stephen Finnegan. You're an arsehole, mate.